In this video, we're going to show you the castle that gave birth to Versailles. Hi guys, good morning. So today we are going on a new trip situation. We are going to visit a castle. So there are so many castles in France, but this one is extremely special because it's got a huge historical value. The reason why is this castle is pretty much the mother or the father of Versailles. Um, it's called Chateau of Vaux le vicomte and um, it was built in the 17th century. Um, we decided to hike um, to the chateau because there's got no no train station. Um, the closest to it is the um, uh, the one that we chose actually is the one in Moulin. Uh, you basically have to walk about one and a half hours to get to the chateau. And now, as you see behind me, there are cars <laughs> and trees. So an interesting thing about André Le Nôtre is that he He's basically the man who created, who designed all of the French classic gardens. So the, you know the classical gardens that you are used to seeing in Versailles, you see it in uh, Jardin de Tuileries, you see it in uh, where we're going, in Vaux le Vicomte. But the thing is, Vaux le Vicomte was the first child, so to speak, the first garden that he... Oh, someone is competing with me, some bird. So he was the creator of uh, this classical Jardin Francais. This garden that we're going to see today is a staple that was copied afterwards at Chateau Fontainebleau, at the Chateau de Versailles, at uh, Jardin de Tuileries. And um, another fun thing is that to build that garden, they had to raise a lot of houses and change the landscape of the entire um, area by removing the, the earth, the ground, building the underground tunnel to bring the water from the channels nearby and uh, yeah and it resulted to be a, sh a work of art a chef d'oeuvre
Right, so we just finished. We just finished with a visit. What did you like about it? Um, the, the, king. the king's room. Yeah, that is so beautiful. That's true. So basically, the whole idea is Nicolas Fouquet. He was um, the superintendent, I think. Basically, normal in normal in modern terms, it's a minister of finance. He took care of the uh, treasury. And what happened was he became so powerful and he became so um, rich that when he was building this chateau, he took the best architect, the best uh, landscaper, the best, um, uh, what do you call them, uh, decorator, there we go. And um, he basically gave them a white canvas and he told them, do whatever you want to do as long as you do it the best, right? So um, there is a myth, not myth, but there is a, you know, many believe that um, when uh, he ha he threw basically threw a party in August, I think it was August 17th, 19, uh, sorry, 19, 16, um, 1656, I think. And um, so what happened was uh, he threw a party and it was uh, for Louis XIV, uh, who, as you know, was a very big man. He believed he was, he was basically the state. He's the one who said, I am the state. And um, so he came over here and um, the party was great. Um, Nicolas Fouquet, Fouquet basically outdid everybody. Um, they had a party, Louis XIV was impressed and people say that he was jealous that the chateau was so amazing and that the garden was fantastic. So he decided to imprison him for life. Now the thing is that's not really the case. Uh, Louis XIV already made up his mind before he came here and um, by the time he was here he already knew that he was going to arrest Nicolas Fouquet and uh, imprison him for life. Uh, the interesting thing we learned today is that um, when he, there was a trial, Nicolas Fouquet avoided escape death just by three votes. Uh, no, three. It was six against nine. Nine to thirteen. Nine to thirteen? Yeah. Well, so four votes. I could be wrong, apparently. Anyway, so um, he avoided death and uh, instead they wanted to banish him for life. But um, Louis XIV, he didn't really want that, so he basically imprisoned him and uh, the man spent the rest of his life in prison. At some point he wasn't allowed even to write anything, see his family and only when he became a bit older was he allowed to actually visit his family, well not visit, to have the family visit him and communicate with them. You know, with this chateau, it's, um, I think it's a very special place because um, even though it's not as big as Versailles, it's not as old as Fontainebleau, uh, the other, I mean, these chateaus we'll do an episode later on on, Sinan still prefers Versailles, uh, but I think this chateau is extremely special because, um, you know, after Fouquet was arrested and imprisoned, um, his wife had to sell it and um, then it just stayed by itself and only at the end of 19th century, a rich businessman, um, I think his name was Samier, I could be wrong, um, or maybe I'm just not pronouncing it correctly, but um, so he basically bought it and he dedicated his entire life to maintaining the shadow, to reviving it and bringing it back to life, which I think is extremely important. And, um, you know, his entire family afterwards, generation after generation, they made sure to maintain this legacy and currently the family actually lives near the chateau um, in the domain but at the beginning of the like basically near the entrance there are like smaller buildings that's where they live and uh, yeah i think it's extremely extremely important the chateau because of this it shows dedication it shows that um you know there is a genuine will to keep it alive and to keep this historic monument and you know people do contribute it lives off contributions um, donations the money that it generates to the restaurant and the visitors and I think it's a, it's a gem it's a hidden gem in the area 
now we're gonna go eat because we're very hungry luckily we got um, we got a picnic we got a few things so we're gonna go and eat because if we don't eat now Sinan then he will eat me <laughs> and a couple of birds so yeah discovering and exploring so we just got some baguettes we got some cheese hummus and tomatoes cherry tomatoes yep very simple and tasty bon appetit we just wanted to show you guys the view from here and how calming it is here it's just it's like a spa more or less so cool check this out So at the back is the chateau, all the way at the back. That's it for this week guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe and press notification bell. Until next week, bye.